In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install Vortex crossbars with SX legs to a Toyota 4Runner. Before commencing, refer to the instruction manual and cross-check all components are supplied according to the parts list. As well, have on hand the correct tools and safety equipment as recommended. To start, prepare your Vortex bars by firstly removing the end caps then shaking the crossbar up and down to remove measurement strips, vortex generating strips and key. Next, install vortex generating strips into the C-channel on both crossbars as shown. The rubber can be cut to length if required. You can also cut and install the strip around accessories as required. Once that is done, you now need to complete leg and measurement strips installation. Flex the grip tabs inwards slightly on the SX leg assembly. With the tab depressed, insert the leg into the crossbar as shown. Next, sit the crossbars onto the factory rail so that the leg assembly clamps over the rail. Make sure that your crossbars are positioned evenly apart on both sides. Ensure that you set an equal overhang on the crossbars on either side. Repeat this step for the second crossbar. Fasten each leg alternatively using the Allen key provided to 4 to 5 Newton meters. With torque key inserted, turn clockwise until handle straightens as per this diagram shown. This indicates 4 to 5 Newton meters. More pressure may be required in extreme climates. Downward force may be required on top of the crossbar leg to attach it successfully to the rail. The gasket on the inside of the leg will create a seal with the roof rail when pressure is applied. Now it is time to install the underbar strips. Measure the slots on either side of the installed leg assembly and cut the underbar strips to size and fit to the slots. Repeat this process on the other crossbar. Insert end caps on both crossbars and lock using the key provided. Ensure they are secure. Now your Rhino Rack Vortex crossbars are ready for use. 